Right, well this is an interesting project. Um, I like to use wood with a bit of history uh, and uh, this timber here came from the um, old Glensborough one room schoolhouse, uh, the building that was on the corner of, um, well had been relocated to the corner of the high school and is now being relocated to Shelbyville. Um, I asked if I could get some of the timber in the, the hope I could make something from it. But actually when I when I got it home and looked at it, it was nothing special. There was, I knew there'd be nails in it, but there was a considerable number. Um, and it, you can see the cracks in there. This is a piece of poplar, but you can see it's cracked all the way through. Um, this is some form of pine. It's nothing special, but you can see you've got blemishes, any number of nails. Well, I thought, well, what can I do with it? I'm, I'm going to make the best of it. So, with that in mind, I made this. It's an Appalachian mountain dulcimer. You see, there's the poplar. That came out of um, that wood. I had to discard an awful lot of wood to get what I got out on the back. You can see that's from uh, one of these beams. Again, the very centre of the beam seemed to be okay. It took a lot of work, but it was fun. It was a challenge. It was a big challenge. Um, and I made two. Here's the other one. Both similar, slight different shape. Uh, I had to work with the wood. Uh, the wood told me really what shape I could do. That's why this one's slightly narrow, it just wasn't going to go wider. But they came out, they worked. Let's see if we can get a tune.
So there you go, Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer, reclaimed wood from the Glensborough Schoolhouse, and the wood lives on.